Hello, it's Ali Mayak. In today's video, I will show you what do you have to do when you have an error code for the camshaft position sensor. So when you have a problem with the camshaft position sensor, you will have a check engine light and these error codes. So when you have an error code like this, it means that the sensor not communicating with the ECU or you have used bad quality oil and it's covering it and the sensor not sensing the camshaft. So on your car, you have two sensors. This is B and this is A. So with the error code, you will see that it's A or B. My car doesn't have any problem. So I will show you what you have to do if you have used a bad quality oil. We're going to remove this one and clean it and I will show you how to do it properly. So when you have error code, having OBD scanner like this very handy. You can read the code and then we will know which sensor have a problem. And then for cleaning, I will be using a brake cleaner. You can use chalk cleaner as well. So just like I mentioned, you have two. One is here and this is the B and one here, this is A. So if you are willing to remove this, you have to remove the cover. Removing the cover is very easy. You have three tabs, one here, one here and one here. So removing the sensor is very easy. We just have to disconnect the wire and then use a 10 millimeter. In this case, I'm using a ratchet and socket. Sometimes these connectors get stuck. So you're gonna have to squeeze the tap and push it and it will come out. Next, we're gonna use a 10 millimeter. Now we're gonna wiggle it and it will come out. So if you bought a used car and you saw you have a problem with the camshaft position sensor, it means that the previous owner put a bad quality oil and when you take the sensor out, you will see a film on it. It means that the sensor not filling the camshaft. So you're going to have to clean it and put it back. And if you saw the error code came back again, it means that the sensor not communicating and you're going to have to replace it with a new one. But in my case, I'm just going to show you how to clean it. And for that, I'm going to use a brake cleaner and spray it on like this. All right, now the sensor is dry and clean. We're going to put it back. All right, the sensor is on. We're going to put the wire connector back. Now we're going to put the cover back. So this is how you know which camshaft position sensor you have a problem. This is B and the other one is A. So if you clean it and the error code came back again, you're going to have to replace it. Hope the video was helpful and learned something new. I will make sure to put all the products and the tools in the video description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.